Haida Gwai, the Guayanas Archipelago. Just south of the Alaskan Panhandle, a chain of volcanic mountains emerges from the sea. Named the Queen Charlotte Islands by European explorers, their rugged beauty and a distinct evolutionary history have earned them the title of the Northern Galapagos. For 10,000 years or more, Haida Gwaii has been the home of the Haida Nation. The totem poles at the World Heritage Site at Skung Gwaii are guarded from plunder by the Haida Watchmen. Every year, hundreds of small streams teem with salmon that have come home to spawn. To this day, eagles, bears, and humans share this important source of protein. The sea harbors abalone, crabs and mussels, rockfish, sea urchins, herring, kelp, and many more delicacies that adorn tables at a Haida potlatch and appear on menus at our finest restaurants. Just over a hundred years ago, before smallpox ravaged the population, the sea nourished 10,000 people who lived, fished, and celebrated potlatches in the many villages once lining these shores. Greenpeace filmed in these waters in early September, 1988. It is hoped that the impressions they brought back from Haida Gwaii will help others see what we all risk to lose if planned oil development is allowed to proceed here. Storms and strong tides keep nutrients in constant circulation in the shallow waters surrounding these islands. It is the reason for the great abundance and diversity that makes this such a unique marine ecosystem. Blue whales, gray whales, humpbacks, orcas, 21 species of whale, dolphin, and porpoise live and migrate in these productive waters. Seals and sea lions also depend upon this rich and healthy sea. In 1985, 10 years of intense environmental struggle with governments and industry came to a peak when 72 Haida people were arrested for standing up to prevent the clear-cut logging of Guayanas. Now the Canadian government prides itself for having established the South Moresby Park Reserve here. But the first thing on the government's agenda is to look for oil and gas within the very boundaries of what politicians so deceptively call a marine park. In this environment, man and woman lived a life of plenty, in balance with nature for over 10,000 years. An oil spill could ruin everything in one day.
Storms come up very quickly here, and 30-meter waves have been known to sink fishing vessels only a few kilometers from shore. Two fault lines and three tectonic plates, constantly grinding against each other, give rise to the frequent and intense earthquakes rocking this region. It would be hard to find a more risky place to drill for oil. Greenpeace, the Haida Nation, and all the people who have fought for years to save these islands are dedicated to keeping Haida Gwaii, or the Queen Charlotte's, unpolluted and intact forever. And the only way to do this is to keep the oil companies out.